Welcome back to Booze and Rocks. My name is David Edwards, and today I'm going to use one of these to make one of these as sex on the beach. But first, this. All right, make sure you watch all the way to the end because you are going to laugh at these bloopers. I guarantee you. So how did such a good cocktail get such a douchebaggy name? In Florida, of course, where else is that gonna happen? Now, according to bartender lore and sexonthebeach.com, which no longer exists, it was invented by a bartender named Ted who worked at Confetti's Bar in 1987. Now, apparently it was inspired by a promotion for a peach schnapps company to sell as much as they could. Now, Ted supposedly named it Sex on the Beach because, well, sex and the beach are the only two reasons that spring breakers would even bother to show up to Florida. However, the online site Mental Floss found a recipe for this cocktail in an American bartender's school book from 1982. And this predates the above story by five years. They theorized that the cocktail was probably invented when a bartender put together a fuzzy navel and a Cape Cotter. However, this drink was so popular it also ended up in the song Cake by the Ocean by DNCE in 2015. And that song and that video is about nothing else but sexual fantasy. So why am I not surprised about that? So let's get into making the sex on the beach. Now the first thing I need, of course, is a shaking glass, right? Now, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to make this drink into parts so I can layer it nicely. A lot of people will put this drink together as one drink and mix everything together. I just wanna be able to give you those beautiful layers. So the first thing, of course, we need is some peach schnapps. And I'm using Dr. McGillicuddy's uh, peach schnapps and I need half an ounce or 15 milliliters. Now, of course, the next thing that I need is some orange juice. And we need one ounce or 30 milliliters. And unfortunately, I could not find any fresh pineapple. So I'm having to use this 100% pure pressed uh, pineapple juice. You know, times being what they are, it's kind of hard to get some stuff right now. So we need one ounce of this and or 30 milliliters. So what we're going to do, of course, is we're going to shake this with a little bit of ice. And we're gonna shake this for, I don't know, uh, 10 to 15 seconds. Okay, we don't need this anymore. I'll put that right there. So I'm gonna grab my other shaking glass and now we're gonna start with the second half. So the first thing I need is some vodka and I've got some Finlandia vodka here and we need an ounce and a half or what works out to uh, 45 milliliters. So we also need a little bit of cranberry juice. And since I don't have cranberries to squeeze by hand, I'm gonna use a little bit of ocean spray. We need the same amount again, one and a half ounces or 45 milliliters. And of course, the last piece we need, once I can figure out how to actually get that on, is some chamber oil. This is a berry liqueur. We need half an ounce or 15 milliliters. So what we'll do is we'll shake this again, all right, with ice for another same amount of time, 10 to 15 seconds. And I don't need this glass either. I do, however, need to dry my hands because the seal started to come loose on me. But we're going to build this into a hurricane glass. I like the shape, it's gonna look nice. What you wanna do is apparently have my ice bucket come apart. This is turning into one of those days. So we need some little bit of ice. And we're going to strain this in two parts. We're gonna strain the orange piece first into the bottom. The 
surprisingly doesn't look like there's much in there. However, now what we're going to do is we're going to strain the vodka and cranberry juice portion on top, and we're going to do this slowly onto the ice to keep it from mixing. So we get that beautiful layer of separation. But we need a garnish, and technically this calls for a cocktail umbrella. I don't have one, I was gonna use a real umbrella. Apparently I don't have one of those either because it just snows up here and it snowed today. Surprise. But what I am gonna use is an orange slice. And we're just gonna put this in here nice and nifty like so. And take a look at that. That is a sex on the beach. It is a mighty fine looking cocktail. You've got a couple of layers. You have the beach layer here and the sexy steamy red layer up here. Absolutely. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna mix this with my straw right here. We'll give it all a single color. Smells good. You smell the berry liqueur and the cranberry and the pineapple and the orange a little bit. Let's see how it tastes. That's really good. That is good. You can taste it. It's a little more on the vodka and the chambro because it's right there. You don't notice the peach schnapps at all. It blends in quite nicely. We get a nice color, beautiful visuals of the ice in the, uh, in the drink, because after all, part of your cocktail is its presentation. You know what? I'll have some more. Mm -mm -mm. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the ingredients and the method of how to make this down in the description down below. And one of the things I want you to do, leave a comment for me if you think I would use a different peach schnapps, a different vodka or chamboro, and what you think and why you think they would do that because it would change the flavor slightly. Now, if this is your first time to my channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button and make sure you definitely hit that bell notification. That way, every time I put up a new video, you will be notified. But if you don't like vodka, you don't like peach schnapps or cranberry and any type of these juices, hit the thumbs down button twice. And we'll see you next time. All right, make sure you watch all the way to the end so you can see the... Uh, the bloopers. Thank you. That it was invented by a bartender who put a fuzzy navel and a cobbler together. This is not enough. A little bit of ice, and what we're going to do is we're going to shake this for a good 10 to 15 seconds. Stop it.